this is uh, this year's uh, project. Uh, I think it was three years ago we actually tiled this room, but the floor is getting uh, kind of dingy. Then we've got this uh, place where the toilet leaked. So we're going to uh, put down tile. Uh, I had thought we'd have to take up the old wooden floor to do it, but apparently not. I checked it out with the tiles, and there'll be a little ridge at the door, but I think it'll be all right. Well, we've uh, developed quite a mess here. Uh, we picked the toilet out and uh, found out that there was a lot of dry rot down there. So I've got to basically take out some of the subflooring and uh, replace it. And there, there's the supervisor of the project. Uh, well, it's not every day there's a picture of me sitting on the toilet. However, it was necessary to take the toilet up uh, to do the tiling and what? We put this here. When we got the uh, toilet up, we found there was a lot of dry rot on the flooring and the subflooring. This was put here to keep our young feline friend from from uh, finding her way into the basement, and that might be good because she would at least get some mice if she went down there. And Lord knows we have a lot of mice. Well, we'll just put that there for now. So. Uh, now what I've got to do is, is clean this mess up here, uh, scrape the wood down, and uh, I can, there's enough flex I can bring the, uh, pump, the plumbing pipes up uh, about half an inch, which I'll need. So I hope that by the end of the day, at least we'll uh, have a downstairs toilet. Okay, a real early start today, uh, up about 6 o'clock uh, working here, because I want to go out this afternoon, and we've got to get this toilet back. Uh, mirrors are handy when uh, you do these uh, home video things. Uh, you just shoot yourself in the mirror, uh, if not the foot. Uh, we're getting there. I hope to get the toilet in today. And, uh, well, then once the toilet's in, the rest of the tiling should be fairly routine. The uh, problem is I lost the original ones around here somewhere, but I couldn't find them, so I think this improvised thing uh, may work. If not, I'll have to go over to Home Depot and uh, get the right part. Uh, this I found interesting. This looks awful. It's just, just the iron from the water, which has uh, condensed on the bottom. I'm going to clean that up before we, we, clean, before we uh, put it back. But uh, if it's this bad over a few years inside the cistern on the toilet, I wonder what it's like inside your body. We're about to reinstall the toilet, I hope, and uh, this shows, I got a shot earlier, it's upside down here, this was installed on June 28th of uh, 2007, so we're going to write here, reinstall, March, no, no February, February. <laughs> February 25th, 2013. The music in the background is internet radio. God knows where it's coming from. Uh, it wasn't in the mood for opera today. It was on, on some uh, big band sound. Just a little bit of it so we can get the piece of furniture back in. Uh, this is sanded grout, uh, which you need to, um, uh, when you get the wide separation between the tiles, uh, there's two types of grout. I learned that the hard way once before doing a tile job. And this is my assistant here. She's uh, been really very helpful testing the grout for quality, as you can see. So here's a little bit that we've uh, done already. I uh, sort of, I've been, I'm only doing part of it, so I've only been mixing little batches of grout at a time. Well, we're uh, starting to get there. I think we've uh, more than passed the halfway mark. I see the job here is being inspected. I trust it's all right, Mimi, or Millie? So how do you like the guy you hired to do the tile floor? He's very messy. 
Okay, we're uh, getting on the home stretch. Uh, I've been saying that for three days now, but uh, we are uh, at the grouting stage. Uh, so we're mixing. Which, by a bit the way, more. by the way, Millie seems to love yeah. the grout. Yeah, Millie seems to be attracted to the grout, and I don't know why. There, this is a. It doesn't go very far because we've got a quarter inch separation between the tiles, so it's amazing. This stuff is like 13 bucks a bag, which is ridiculous. Yes, is. Uh, the secret is to get it roughly the consistency of toothpaste. If I can find my little Watch thing. Watcher. Huh? Watcher. I'll be right back. The secret to get it about the consistency of toothpaste. And then after you mix it, you've got to leave it for about 10 minutes, I guess. It's like it's a concrete product, basically, and all little kind of things happen to concrete while it's drying. Uh, this is an idea. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. I uh, decided to use these as corner pieces uh, for up there because we couldn't find a proper medallion in ceramic. I guess the first thing I should do is turn Tosca off. I had not offer for today. Uh, this is the last piece of tile uh, to go in. And about there we are, right here. And I thought we should sort of memorialize this event. Uh, the, uh, this job has taken a lot longer than I'd planned because uh, the uh, you know, I just had so much on my plate last week, and it's, I don't know, no problems really. It's gone fairly smoothly, but uh, yeah, it has been a big job. And this whole thing about the door was not planned. So here we are. I don't know if we break a bottle of champagne on it or homemade wine or something, but there we go. Now we still got to clean up a little bit. I'm not sure if these need grouting or not. So how does that look?